would like to welcome everyone to this special occasion. I'm Scott Palermo, Executive Principal of Career and Technical Education. The students being recognized in this ceremony should be commended for their hard work and commitment. Our graduates did not reach this momentous occasion on their own. Our students have only reached this milestone with the support and encouragement of their parents and friends and homeschool personnel. As you are watching this, please give a huge round of applause for all who have supported our graduates to get them to this stage tonight. We are very fortunate to have teaching and support staff who are committed to student success. I respect their care, compassion, expertise, and dedication to CTE. This is our last CTE recognition ceremony as I'm retiring at the end of this month. The teachers and staff who have taught and supported your children this year are amongst the finest that I've ever worked with in my 40 plus year career. I've been, it's been very proud to walk amongst them for the past three years. When you see them in the future, please take the time to thank them for their efforts before and during these unprecedented times. It only takes a moment and it means so much. I would like to offer special thanks to Mr. Jeff Molusky, who has been an incredible partner in leading this fine faculty. Together we have striven to make this the finest career and technical school in New York. I believe that we are much closer to achieving that goal than we were three years ago. I am so proud to turn the mantle over to him as the new executive principal of career and technical education so that he can continue the great work that we have done together. Congratulations, Jeff. Congratulations, Scott Palermo, on your retirement. Congratulations, 2020 graduates. I look forward to the upcoming school year. A momentous occasion such as this does not happen without a tremendous amount of work behind the scenes. Please join me in thanking Jeff Molusky, Deborah Height Dunwell, Cynthia McKay, Christy Walls Hewlett, Sue Ann Daly, Darlene Matico, and Jessica Dayton. A special thanks goes out to Donna Hemmer, our communications director, for putting together this virtual ceremony and helping to make it as meaningful as possible. I would like to introduce natural resources student Kelsey Kellum from Liberty Central School District, class of 2020, who will be leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. This year I've been amazed at the accomplishments of our students and I'm extremely proud of them as there was much excitement, engagement and respect demonstrated during the many activities and lessons that occurred each day. More importantly, valuable skills have been learned to assist each and every one to be college and career ready. Parents, homeschool personnel, and CTE staff members should be very proud of our graduates and their accomplishments tonight. Congratulations. This graduation is like none before. The challenges that you've all faced in the last few months could not have been imagined even a short few months ago. And yet here you are graduating from career and technical school. The ceremony is virtual, but the accomplishment is real. You've worked hard for this moment for two years. Do not mourn the loss of the live ceremony, but rather celebrate the meaning of this actual achievement. What you may not have thought about is how far ahead of your homeschool peers you are. We've all faced adversity in the wake of COVID-19 but you have been given the skills at CTE to deal with adversity, change, and the stress caused by the unexpected. You've been given the tools for success. You may hate COVID-19 at this point and blame it for taking away prom, graduation, your senior trip, or perhaps much more if you've lost loved ones to the virus. But today, COVID-19 stands for something very different. It's the code for success that you have been given at CTE. C-O-V-I-D-19. C is for competent, defined as having suitable or sufficient skills, knowledge, experience, etc. for some purpose. 
properly qualified. Your confidence comes from skills that you have honed in our classrooms and shops, skills that take you into the next phase of your lives, one step ahead of the others who compete with you. Real career and life skills that you can rely on no matter what life throws at you. You've been tested in the last few months, and you've used those skills to prevail. O is for optimistic, having the tendency to take the most hopeful or cheerful view of matters or to expect the best outcome. From competence comes optimism. You know that you can because you have done it. You will step into college or career knowing that you already know how to work hard, solve problems, and think on your feet. B is for vehement, having great vigor or passion, fervent or eager. You are passionate about what you do, proud of the skills that you have honed in the last two years by making mistakes and rising above them. You chose CTE because of an interest, and we have taught you to fire that interest into a passion. Let that passion carry you when the chips are down and the going gets tough. Be eager to succeed. I is for ingenuity, the quality of being cleverly inventive or resourceful. Inventiveness. You could not be honored here tonight if you had not learned to think on your feet, solve problems, and be invented, inventive when called upon. We've not thrown theoretical problems at you. On the contrary, we have faced you with real problems that in many cases don't even have solutions yet. You've solved those that have solutions and we send you into the world tonight to solve the ones that don't. D is for determination, the quality of being resolute, firmness of purpose. Life is not easy. The last few months have underlined that for us very clearly. You may think that this is the toughest time you'll ever encounter. You're likely incorrect. Life has a way of testing you when you think you've seen the worst but you have the determination to set your mind to getting through whatever life throws at you and getting to the other side. 19. The number 19 rep represents completion in numerology. This number is made up the, of the numbers 1 and 9. Number 1 signifies a beginning and 9 signifies an end, which makes the number 19 a message that indicates you're set for the next stage in your life. This ceremony is the gateway to the next stage in your life. We have given you all the tools and skills that you need to succeed at whatever you take on next, whether it be college, career, the military, or another path that none of us has yet considered. You are ready for life. Finally, as you go out into the world, I urge you to celebrate our differences. At CTE, you came together with nine different school districts and worked side by side, shoulder to shoulder, regardless of skin color, sexual identification, religious beliefs, personal appearance, or political orientation, to work toward your future. We are all different, and we need to understand and celebrate our differences, but also recognize our commonality as human beings. We all have goals, we all have plans, we all have strengths and we all have weaknesses that we try to overcome. We all face challenges and we need to recognize that we may never fully understand or appreciate the struggles that someone else is going through. Assuming is not knowing. We need to treat everyone with respect, kindness and compassion, not just when it is convenient or it feels good to do so, but also when it is the hardest to do so. We have given you these important skills too. They are probably the most important ones that we've helped you develop. I said this last year, but I'm gonna say it again. You may never see any of us again, but understand that we will be standing behind you all the way, cheering as we are tonight. When life gets tough, look over your shoulder. We'll be there, urging you on. When life is good, We'll be there celebrating with you. No matter where life takes you, we will always be as proud of you as we are today. Congratulations to all of our graduates. You are our hope for the future. I'm sorry that we could not do this in person so that I could shake each of your hands,
but feel the virtual handshake and remember that the ceremony is virtual, the achievement is real. I wish you all the best. Go make the world a better place. We're all counting on you. We'd like to introduce our student speakers one at a time. They are our top male and female students in the New Vision program and our top male and female students overall. Sarah Shema from our New Visions program, Monticello Central School District. Hello and welcome teachers, staff, parents, family, friends, and of course, fellow graduates. Thank you for being with us today. Our lives are a story each story has many chapters, some with similar themes, yet very different details. Our stories began between 2001 and 2003. Some of our stories began in Sullivan County, while others may have started somewhere else. We attend different homeschools across the county. Either way, we've all ended up here together in this chapter. Our high school chapter began in 2016. Our BOCES journeys all began at different times, with most of us joining in our junior or senior years. Although many of us met less than two years ago, we quickly became a team and started to make our mark. We have remained active in our home schools and community. At BOCES, we have broadened our learning and even learned useful skills in our respective programs. When we began, we could not have dreamed how much we'd have changed for the better. The best part of this chapter is the unique opportunities we have had. We've made friends with people from across the county that otherwise we may have never met. We have joined programs tailored to our specific interests that have made learning fun. Personally, I know I would not be who I am today without my New Vision class. My teachers and classmates have helped me grow and explore the healthcare field. It is because of clinical rotations and anatomy class and everything in between that I know what I want to do in the future. We have been blessed to have many dedicated teachers who have helped us learn and who have supported our growth. We could often count on them to make a bad day good or to celebrate our accomplishments. We will admire many of them long after we leave BOCES. As classmates, we have encouraged, supported, and pushed one another to be who we are today. We have persevered as individual people and as a team. Our latest challenge has been remaining positive during the unprecedented events surrounding being quarantined due to coronavirus. As we have done in all of our previous chapters, we will persevere. We have so much to be grateful for. With our parents, families, friends, and teachers by our sides, we will march forward into the next chapter of our individual stories. We have worked hard, learned, made sacrifices, laughed and cried, and we are now ready. This is a very, very proud moment for us. When we leave, it is the close of a chapter, but not the end of our stories. Today begins a new chapter. So take hold of that pen and write. Make it the best story you've ever written. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you. Nicholas Chiamenti from our New Visions program, Monticello Central School District. Hello families and congratulations class of 2020. For those of you that don't know who I am, I'm Nicholas Chiamenti, a Monticello High School class of 2020 graduate and former New Vision student. I was given the pleasure today to speak with all of you to celebrate the end of our high school careers, but as we all know, it is a difficult time to celebrate. It may seem our world is falling apart around us, but things are slowly getting better, and your accomplishments will not go unnoticed during these stressful times. I started the year in a class where I never thought I'd be, New Visions. For those of you that don't know, it's a college level class that is very competitive to get into, and luckily I, along with 11 others, were chosen. This class taught us about healthcare, public policy, and even how to write and give a speech. Through this last year, the class was able to spend every day for half the day in a hospital, which may not seem as interesting as it sounds, but for us, it was like a dream come true. We were also able to shadow, one to two days a week, a healthcare professional of our choosing. That, along with the special bond the 12 of us made, made it my favorite part of high school, and one that I'm gonna miss. But, like many other things, it got cut short. None of us were able to experience the things we've waited for for so long. A normal end to high school. No senior trip, no prom, and not a traditional graduation, or even a proper goodbye to everyone. Do you remember your last day of school? I really don't. Do you regret it? I do. For some of you, you may be happy high school ended prematurely, but for many others, school was a safe haven from that provided food, shelter, 
and social relationships, along with even protection from abusive households. Never would any of us think that this is how high school would end for us. Never would I think I'd be here speaking to a camera to all of you who made it through a very difficult senior year, whether it was losing a family member, witnessing or suffering racial injustice, or even just not being able to see the people that you used to see every day. No doubt that these have been trying times, but the amazing thing to realize is that we're going through this generation's Great Depression, this generation's World War II. But the amazing thing to realize is that we're going through history and it is up to us to become stronger through this and fix the deep issues plaguing our society and make it a better place so that the next generation can be prepared for their next crisis. But now it's time to move on with the next chapters in life. I always hate having to say goodbye and I never got the full chance to say goodbye to everyone when school is in session. This is my final departure from high school and BOCES. Thank you to all the friends who made my years through high school more bearable. Thank you to all the teachers that despite going through what we're going through, still taught us on a brand new platform they've never used before. Thank you to all the families striving to make their children succeed. And thank you for giving me your attention. If we can get through this, then there will be nothing that can stop us. So whatever your next step is, whether it be college, finding a job, or joining the service, make sure you're the best you can be at it. Congratulations again. Good luck, everyone. Stay safe. Never doubt your true potential. And celebrate. You all certainly deserve it. Goodbye. Next is Maggie Herbert from our Animal Science Program, Sullivan West Central School District. Good afternoon. My name is Maggie Herbert, and I am a graduating senior from Selvin West High School. I attended the Career in Tech Animal Science program at Selvin Boses and had the opportunity to learn so many new things. I was prompted to share a few words of wisdom to my fellow graduates, and I feel that the most important thing that we should keep in mind is that you should always try and be a better version of yourself. This may sound very generic because this is what most people tell you on a daily basis. But this is an idea that has gotten me where I am today. I've ever, if I've ever wanted something, I've worked for it. When you work hard for something, nobody can take it away from you because you did it all on your own. Each day I wake up with a few short-term goals in mind so that I can achieve them to make my long-term goals worth it. By creating short-term goals, you can work towards your long-term goals and have a life that you've created and worked for. When you work hard towards your goals, you do things for yourself so you can have a better life. When you work hard for yourself, it teaches you life lessons along the way. Hard work teaches you the value of certain things, helps you build self-discipline, and teaches you how to be dedicated and determined in not only your personal goals, but your whole outlook on life. Everyone wants to be successful and have an amazing life, but all of that comes with hard work. Without working hard and setting goals, it's very difficult to be successful. Because let's be real here, if success was free, everyone would have it. Each day, try to wake up with an attitude that this day is going to be the greatest. Wake up with one thing in mind that will help you be a better you. Maybe this is getting to work early, or spending less time on your phone, or even spending more time with friends and family. Whatever it is that you want to improve on, just work little by little each and every day. All you have to do is be 1% better. 1% better because after 100 days, you're 100% different. You're 100 days to your long-term goals. So just give it a try, 1%, that's all. Not 20, not 50, not 100, just one every single day. And within a year, you'll see a huge difference in yourself and how much you've grown as a better person. I wish the best of luck to everyone on their futures and I hope our paths cross again. But until then, let's all try and be a better version of ourselves. Thank you. Next is John Michael Madera from our Early Childhood Program, Roscoe Central School District. Dear fellow graduates, parents, families, and educators, this year, every individual has had to face endless trials and tribulations due to a pandemic-induced quarantine. We have been separated from our friends, families, and teachers, and we're forced to detach ourselves from our usual jobs and extracurriculars. We have been deprived of our opportunities to socialize, make memories, and enjoy life as we once knew it. However, what we have not done is given up. 
Every individual in this graduating class has emerged victorious from a situation that seemed hopeless. Furthermore, every individual graduating today has demonstrated their determination and success in reaching their goals. Dr. Seuss once said, sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. I believe this quote can resonate with each of us listening. I remember when I first visited the Career and Technical Education campus in 10th grade. I was beyond excited to meet my teacher for early childhood education and see what my next two years in the program would entail. I will never forget walking into the room and hearing a voice, an excited voice, shout over to me, hey, want to make a turkey? To my surprise, the welcoming voice was from none other than Mrs. Park, my early childhood instructor. After finishing my turkey craft, we chatted for what seemed like hours about what my next two years at Sullivan Boses would be like. I knew then that my future at Boses was going to be exciting. What I could not anticipate, however, was how truly extraordinary it would be. During my two years, I have been given limitless opportunities. I had the pleasure of leading group activities and lesson plans at my Liberty Elementary School internship. I had the chance to compete in the Skills USA state competition as a junior, and I encountered some of the best people I have ever met. I forged friendships with some of my peers in the ECE program. Shania and I became so close that we would bicker all class like an old married couple. Mrs. Park would constantly have to interrupt our roast battles or loud, obnoxious sing-offs. Being a part of ECE was like gaining a new family. These are the moments for me that have become memories. Memories of happiness, fulfillment, and eagerness. These are the memories that each student is guaranteed while attending a CTE program. Before we graduate and begin our journey for life and adulthood, I believe it is important to thank some impactful people that will forever be a part of these memories. Thank you CTE faculty, staff, and administration for providing us with programs that prepare us for our future careers. Thank you to Mrs. Height Dunwell for organizing our student tours and skills activities. Thank you Mrs. McKay and Mrs. Wilcox for bringing more excitement and laughter into our classrooms. Thank you Mrs. Leidenhoff for your sarcastic and witty jokes that always made me laugh in the morning. Lastly, however, I would like to thank Mrs. Park for always pushing me to do my best, for always answering my endless questions about my grades and assignments, and for being the best teacher I could ask for. As for my fellow graduates, I leave you with one word of advice, and that is rise. Rise above the obstacles you may face, rise beyond your goals and expectations, and rise to the occasion. Congratulations, we did it. Thank you. The Sullivan Boses Board Award recognizes students for their overall excellence. The students will receive a certificate and a plaque. This year, we are recognizing these four students. Nicholas Cimenti from Monticello Central School District. Maggie Herbert, Sullivan West Central School District. John Michael Madera, Roscoe Central School District. Sarah Shema, Monticello Central School District. Each year, the Sullivan County BOCES Teachers Association presents an award to a CTE student in our early childhood education program. This year's recipient, John Michael Madera from Roscoe Central School District, has proven to be a mature, responsible, and a trustworthy young adult who exemplifies all that this award signifies. The Antonia Kiesler Memorial Award was created to honor a long-standing past CSEA president. Tony, as she was best known by her fellow colleagues, CSE members, and friends, was fully dedicated to public service, serving CSEA for 22 years. This year's recipient of the Antonia Kiesler Award shares the same passion for service. This year's award goes to Brant Gorton from Tri-Valley. Congratulations, Brant. The Szymanski Scholarship is presented yearly in memory of Henry Szymanski, an area craftsman and founding father of Sullivan Boses. The Szymanski Scholarship is given to a student who plans on working or continuing his or her education in a field related to the training they received at Career and Tech. This year's recipient of the Szymanski Award is Maggie Herbert from Sullivan West School District. The 
Barbara Hallenbeck Professionalism Award is a very special award that recognizes the memory of Barbara A. Hallenbeck, RN. Barbara was a licensed practical nursing instructor at Sullivan County BOCES, who was a tremendous asset to our nursing program. Throughout her nursing career, Barbara touched the lives of many patients, students, staff, and the community. She always portrayed the true professionalism of nursing in her various roles. Barbara lost her courageous battle with cancer in September 21st, 2003. Determined right to the end to fulfill her responsibilities to her students. She loved her students and her students loved and respected her. That is why this memorial scholarship was established to recognize the tremendous influence she had on our nursing program. Barbara's absence has certainly left a void in our lives, but her love of nursing, teaching, and professionalism will be carried on forever in her students and colleagues. Barbara continues to be a role model for nursing education today as we demand professional behavior from our students and ask them to maintain professional integrity within our nursing program. This is certainly a tribute to Barbara and her life. Therefore, it is with the utmost pleasure that I present these scholarships for professionalism in the health field. Ashlyn Chichetti, Sullivan West. Selena Christian, Liberty. Elizabeth Grenados, Monticello. Janaya Romero, Monticello. I would like to present the President's Academic Award for Achievement. This award is given through the White House and bears President Trump's signature. The award recognizes students who've shown outstanding growth, improvement, and demonstrates a commitment toward education. This award is a high honor, recognizing students who give their best performance in the face of obstacles to learning. The following students are the recipients of this prestigious award. I'd now like to present the President's Academic Excellence Award. This award is given through the White House and bears President Trump's signature as well. This award recognizes a student's academic excellence. The recipient of this award are students who demonstrate high motivation, initiative, intellectual depth, leadership qualities, exceptional judgment, and are members of the National Technical Honor Society. The following students are recipients of this prestigious award.
Skills USA is a national nonprofit student organization that serves students enrolled in career and technical education training programs. Its mission is to empower members to become world-class workers and responsible American citizens. Skills USA complements technical skills training with instruction and employability skills that make well-rounded workers and citizens. All CTE students are members of Skills USA. Each year, School Skills USA awards a scholarship to a student who's taken an active leadership role along with numerous fundraising activities. This year's recipient is Shelby Taggart from Monticello Central School District. Salvin West Central School District is awarded an attendance certificate for the students with the overall highest attendance record for 2019-2020 school year at 85% attendance. Ishmael Adelmiad from the Sullivan West Central School District had zero days absent this year in our innovative design program. That was the best attendance record of all students at Career and Tech this year. I'm Kate Frieda. I teach the uh, Allied Health Program and the New Vision Health Program, and we have five students graduating through the Allied Health Program. Um, the first student graduating is Abigail Conklin of Tri Valley. The next student from Allied Health is Rachel Dungey from Sullivan West. The next student is Elizabeth Lane from Tri-Valley. We have Ayana Salzman Hunter from Monticello. And Alyssa Slater from Liberty. And congratulations to all of you. My name is Barbara Moran and I'm from the Animal Science Program. Before we get started giving out our certificates, I would like to give a huge shout out for the perseverance of the class of 2020. You guys have held your head high and pushed through right to the end. So best of luck to all of you in the future. We'd like to start off today with our certificates. First is Samantha Ackerley from Tri-Valley. Next, Clarissa Calabrese Lewis from the Sullivan West School District. Again, from the Tri Valley School Di District, Kyle Gimignani. From the Ellenville School District, we have Elida Goldsmith. From the Sullivan West School District, Derek Hanselmeyer. Also from the Sullivan West School District, Maggie Herbert. From the Tri-Valley District, Sarah Levy. From the Monticello District, we have Sean Long. From the Elder District, Megan Mapes. From our Roscoe School District, we have Nicole Nieves. From our Fallsburg School District, Jonathan Pignataro. From the Liberty School District, Hannah Trujillo. And finally, from our Monticello School District, Angelina Virola. Thank you, and may you all have great success in life. Good afternoon. My name is uh, 
Frederick Muller and I'm the auto body instructor here at the Career and Tech Center. And I would just like to first off start off by saying thanks to all my students who participated in uh, this year's program. Um, 2020 will go down as probably one that we will all remember. Uh, maybe not, would rather be presenting everything to you in person rather than having to do it this way. But I wish you the very best in your futures. Um, and graduating from my class for 2020 will be Jacob DeGroat from the Sullivan West School District. And Ava Schmeiser from the Monticello School District. Hey, this is Mr. Gettle from Auto Tech One. Um, it's good to be able to talk to you guys during the week and have meetings and stuff with you and everybody's done great this year and we hope to be back here next year hopefully to do it all again so have a great summer and be safe elder lopez guinness monticello eric ledoux liberty Jason Watson, Livingston Manor. Bernard Lohman, Auto Tech uh, 2. I uh, just want to say congratulations to all the graduating seniors. Uh, it was a little different uh, school year, but you all did well. You pulled through and you graduated, so congratulations. Edward Barry, Sullivan West. Jason Cabrera, Fallsburg. Carlos Carvajal, Monticello. Trevor DeCampos, Roscoe. Patrick DiBartolo, Livingston Manor. Zachary Favre, Sullivan West. Lucas Vigio, Liberty. Michael Frey, Eldred. Daniel Grace, Livingston Manor. Louis Leon Guzman, Sullivan West. Matthew Longo, Tri-Valley. Edward McCombs, Tri-Valley. Matthew Moran, Sullivan West. Nicholas Niger, Sullivan West. Kenneth Stretch, Monticello. Kyle Summerson, Roscoe. Destiny Weed, Tri-Valley. Jared Woods, Roscoe.
William Drasher, Construction Technology. I'd like to congratulate all the graduates for 2020. Charles Amoroso, Eldred Central School. Tyrone Bridges, Monticello Central School. Robert Dunker, Eldred Central School. Daniel Grande, Monticello Central School. Benjamin Kelly, Selvin West Central School. Jamar Lewis, Monticello Central School. Christopher Miller, Roscoe Central School. Brandon Mata, Eldred Central School. Timothy Nash, Monticello Central School. Jayla Pineda, Tri-Valley Central School. And Craig Sickmiller, Eldred Central School. Hello, I am Mary Jane Muller, Cosmetology Instructor here at Sullivan Boses. I just want to say congratulations to my seniors, Class of 2020. Evan Colazzo Monticello. Ashante Collins Fallsburg. Marlena Del Rosa Monticello. Juliana Grillo Monticello. Aaliyah Hart Monticello. Anastasia Johnson, Tri-Valley. Andrea Lacona Palma, Liberty. Alexis Napes, Eldred. Miley Martinez Fallsburg. Kelsey Meyer Tri Valley. Jalen Sepulveda Fallsburg. Madison Strong, Livingston Manor. Adele Velasquez, Liberty. Hi, I'm Christina Jurgens, culinary arts teacher here at Career in Tech. I'm Kathy Papo, culinary arts teacher. We co-teach. We rock. <laughs> I just want to wish our seniors much luck and success in their future. We'll miss you. Uh, we think that you've been fabulous. Uh, we're sorry how the school year ended, but even, even though that happened, you still are going to be very successful whether you go to college, whether you start working in the industry, and honestly in anything that you do. So, Elizabeth Berger, Tri-Valley. Anthony Carrion, Liberty.
Jada Caesar, Tri-Valley. Jalasia Hardy, Monticello. Destiny Holland, Monticello. Brooke Hutton, Monticello. Ariana Kendrick, Monticello. Chad Kiakis, Roscoe. Robert King, Liberty. Teresa Lacazzi, Monticello. Arlie Martinez, Monticello. Kelsey Maurizio, Sullivan West. Walker McIntyre, Fallsburg. Christian Parisi, Monticello. Brittany Teal, Eldred. Anissa Williams, Fallsburg. Vincent Wright, Monticello. Congratulations, seniors. Hello, everyone. I'm Mrs. Nicole Park. I am the early childhood education teacher. I would just like to wish all of the class of 2020 congratulations. You've had um, a lot to go through this year, and you've made great strides doing it. I will now be announcing the graduates for the Early Childhood Education Program. From Monticello Central School, Sarah Blinston. From Livingston Manor Central School, Amari Cromel. From Monticello Central School, Shanai Fields. From Fallsburg Central School, Jade Kessler. From Roscoe Central School, John Michael Madera. From Eldred Central School, Wendy Marban Rodriguez. From Monticello Central School, Talia Panzer. And from Livingston Manor Central School, Eric Rodriguez. From Tri-Valley Central School, Amaya Rupret. From Livingston Manor Central School, Shelby Ward. From Tri-Valley Central School, Ashlyn Wood. Hello, my name is uh, Peggy Schleimacher. I am the Health Occupations Teacher for Health Occupations 2. I'd like to congratulate my high school students for a job well done in the health occupation field. Peggy Lindstadt, I am a TA. I work with Peggy in Health Oc 2. I am so proud and happy to have 
worked with you students. It's been an absolute pleasure. You all have special talents, and I'm very happy to say congratulations, class of 2020. Arthur Blair, Monticello Central School. Selena Christian, Liberty Central School. Ashlyn Cicchetti, Sullivan West. Paige Dunning, Eldritch Central School District. Afton Flores, Monticello Central School. Elizabeth Granados, Monticello Central School. Janaya Jadquez, Monticello Central School. Candice Lozada, Monticello Central School. Bella Mateo, Liberty Central School. Aliyah Miller, Monticello Central School. Hillary Ortiz Vega, Liberty Central School. Sky Perry, Fallsburg Central School. Cheyenne Poole, Monticello Central School. Antoine Reed III, Monticello Central School. Janaya Romeo, Monticello Central School. Megan Rose, Sullivan West Central School. Felicia Rothberg, Livingston Manor Central School. Samantha Santana, Liberty Central School. Shania Seely, Monticello Central School. Mabera Sajahan, Fallsburg Central School. Brianna Smith, Eldred Central School. Shelby Taggart, Monticello Central School. Courtney Wigfall, Monticello Central School. Hi, this is Rob Boydwick. I'm the teacher for innovative design here at Sullivan County BOCES. Um, my teaching assistant and I uh, would like to congratulate the seniors uh, for a very tough, very different year than we've had in the last year that we've had. Um, Deb and I are both proud of every single one of you for all of your accomplishments and everything that you have achieved in the program. I'm proud to present Ishmael Abdel Mied from Sullivan West. Luke Burrell from Sullivan West. Daniel Belias, Fallsburg.
Jasmine Dumas, Monticello. Christopher Edwards from Fallsburg. Rourke Hamilton, Tri-Valley. Tatiana Hinckley, Liberty. Ian Hoag, Liberty High School. Carly Lawler, Roscoe. Henry Luba, Fallsburg. Mason Mills, Livingston Manor. Melissa Welch from Monticello. Good afternoon, Sam Rogers, the natural resources teacher. I would just like to congratulate all my students on a great year, but a unique year. I really wish we would have been able to spend more time together, but nevertheless, congratulations. Austin Beach, Fallsburg. Christopher Kane, Ellenville. Shane Conklin, Ellenville. Zachary Fritas, Livingston Manor. Stephen Hecht, Roscoe. Alan Holland, Monticello. Kelsey Kellum, Liberty. Victor Kessler, Fallsburg. Silas Lake, Ellenville. Aiden Lowitz, Sullivan West. Austin May, Roscoe. Jared Rockowitz, Sullivan West. Jerry Robbins, Liberty. Daniel Rush, Tri-Valley. Robert Smith, Monticello. Steven Stickles, Ellenville. John Valstro, Sullivan West. Robert Van Hooten, Monticello. Kyle Wheat, Monticello. Congratulations, everyone. Hi, I'm Kate Frieda. I teach the Division Health and Allied Health program. And I'd like to congratulate the Division Health students on their graduation. You've done a tremendous job. You've worked very, very hard uh, with the college classes that you've taken and with your um, success in those courses. Gabrielle Acosta Herrera of Monticello.
Julia Austin of Liberty. Genesis Campos of Fallsburg. Nayeli Chacon of Fallsburg. Nicholas Gimente of Monticello. Brianna Ibanez from Monticello. Dana Kurthy of Monticello. Tulsi Patel from Fallsburg. Sasrika Rajan of Monticello. Abigail Rustic of Monticello. Sarah Shama of Monticello. And Nathaniel Vallegis from Monticello. Congratulations. Hi, it's Dennis Barnett, the public safety teacher. I just want to wish all my students a happy and healthy summer. It was a joy teaching you this, this year. And I hope that in your future endeavors of study in criminal justice, that you embrace the hard work and the dedication that's needed. The graduates for this year, from the Fallsburg Central School District, Erica L. Barharona. From the Eldred School District, Dylan H. Campbell. From the Monticello Central School District, Dylan R. DeGroat. From the Tri-Valley Central School District, Hannah E. Dolfini. From Livingston Manor, School District, Ty Fagan. From the Monticello Central School District, Catriona L. Fison. From the Sullivan West Central School District, Julianne Fagan Butts. From Monticello Central School District, Shaija L. Foy. Also from Monticello Central School District, Joshua L. Gatling Road. Tri-Valley Central School District, Brant A. Gordon. From Tri-Valley Central School District, Ian T. Hill. Monticello Central School District, Kevin T. Herney. From Tri-Valley School District, Brianna Henson. From Roscoe School District, Stephanie A. Kirk. Alexandria Ocasio. From Monticello Central School District, China Outley. From Tri-Valley School District, Ariel M. Rose. From Monticello Central School District, Thomas R. Vaith. 
from Monticello Central School District, Alexia A. Velasquez. From Monticello Central School District, Savion J. Wilkes. Also from Monticello Central School District, Jalen Wilson. From Sullivan West Central School District, Colin Wilson. And from Monticello Central School District, Andrew M. Young. Congratulations to all my graduates. Good luck in the future. Hello, I'm Mr. Ward, the high school equivalency instructor. I'd like to take a moment to just say how proud I am of all my graduates this year. Shelby Pearson, Eldred High School. Hello, this is Mr. Conklin, welding instructor for Sullivan County BOCES. Uh, I just wanted to say you guys did a great job this year and I look forward to seeing what you do in your, your future. Michael Barber, Sullivan West. Austin Barthau, Liberty Central School. I would now like to introduce our district superintendent, Dr. Robert DeFore, to conclude our ceremony. Today, you have reached a milestone in your life, and I'm proud to share this moment with you. Unfortunately, we're unable to gather as a group, but that does not diminish the significance of your accomplishment. These are difficult, but not unprecedented times. In the past 50 years, schools have never been closed for such a long period of time for a public health crisis. The last time schools were closed in this country for a health crisis was in response to a polio outbreak in 1955. Prior to that, schools were closed for an extended period of time in 1918 for the Spanish flu and again in 1916 for another polio outbreak. Despite all our modern medicine and science, a simple germ can humble a society and bring the world to a grinding halt. But throughout this pandemic, you persevered. You have shown you have what it takes to survive in this great, big, unpredictable world in which we live. You stood tall, toughed it out, adopted a new normal, and continued on. Flavia Whedon, an author and artist, said, if one dream should fall and break into a thousand pieces, never be afraid to pick up those pieces and begin again. You began again, you held on to your dreams. It may not have been what you were planning or preparing for, but you made the best of it. You never looked back, you found your way forward, you kept climbing, you did what you had to do and succeeded under very different and very trying circumstances. You will remember the year 2020 for many reasons. A global pandemic will only be a small part of your memories. You will not be an asterisk. You will not be a footnote. You will remember this year because you were successful under very abnormal circumstances. I congratulate you. I wish you every success and happiness in the future. Dreams do come true. The bigger your dream, the bigger the reward. So set your sights high, climb the highest mountain, see all there is to see in this great big world. It's beautiful, it's mesmerizing, it's yours for the taking. Congratulations. Thank you for joining us for this virtual ceremony. I'm sure that you would, you would rather have had it in person, but we hope that this is a special keepsake that you can keep forever and remind yourself of the achievement of your young people. We're very proud of them. I hope you are too. Congratulations to all of our graduates and to the families who love and cherish them. That concludes our ceremony this evening. <laughs>